AMD GPUs are being discontinued and the RTX 4000 series just had its release date leaked. Let's talk about it. All right, so let's go ahead and start off with AMD discontinuing GPUs. Now, before anybody panics, no, they're not discontinuing all of their GPUs or even all of the RX 6000 series GPUs. However, they are going to be discontinuing, at least according to some leaked information that was posted on Twitter by Hassan, uh, at least a couple of the RX 6000 series GPUs, which you might want to listen because this could potentially affect what you're going to be purchasing in the future. So according to him, he says, quote, it seems like AIBs will stop making 6600, 6700, slash 69. 900 XT cards and focus on the new 6650, 6750, and 6950 XT series instead. So RDNA 2 refresh is looking more like a replacement rather than a higher end alternative to existing models. So there you have it. It looks like yes, AMD is going to be discontinuing some of their cards if this leak is to be believed. And honestly, Hassan does work for WCCF Tech. They do have some insider information and I would go ahead and actually believe them personally. So if you want an RX 6600 XT or 6700 XT or 6900 XT and you're not willing to buy these new GPUs for whatever reason, well then I guess now might be the time to pull the trigger as it's looking like they could potentially be discontinued. Now, some more information about these graphics cards. Real quick, if you don't know, they're just going to be a slight clock speed increase. The 6650 XT through 6950 XT and they're also going to bring slightly higher memory clock speeds as well. So they are going to be just a little bit faster. Hopefully they're going to come in at the same MSRP, although that isn't necessarily guaranteed. Now, taking a look over at videocards.com, they actually do have an image of what potentially could be the new generation or new refresh of GPUs coming out from AMD very, very soon here. And actually, if we take a look at these cards, I think they look really nice, specifically taking a look at what I believe is the 6650 XT. I really like this new design for the reference model, and I do hope that this is the actual final model. I also like that all three of these cards are in black. I think it looks super, super nice and definitely distinguishes them from the original cards they're replacing. And on top of that, honestly, some of these cards are looking really, really chunky. Now, the 6750 XT doesn't necessarily look any more chunky than the original, but that 6950 XT, you know, maybe I'm just remembering things wrong, but that thing looks really, really chunky and hopefully will do a better job of cooling than the original card it's going to be replacing. But hey, I guess we'll just have to wait and see when these things come out, you know, if they come out at a good price and if they're actually going to be cooling these things any better than the original models. But now let's go ahead and talk about the RTX 4000 series release date, which was leaked yet again over on Twitter. Now, this leaked information comes from the Twitter user Graymon55, who has been leaking a ton of stuff recently and does seem to have a good idea of how things are going to be going. So personally, I'm going to go ahead and say that what he says here is probably pretty likely to come true. Now, what he does say about the release date is this, quote, the next generation of new products are basically concentrated in September. Very exciting. Then Sebastian responded by saying, quote, you said before that N33 will be released first from the RDNA 3 lineup. Is that still looking to be the case right now? Also, will N32 and N31 follow shortly afterwards, or will they ship early next year? As for NVIDIA, I expect expect him to go through with Ada launch same way they did with Ampere. Then Graymon55 responded by saying 33, 31, and 32. So real quick to break that down, what he's talking about here in terms of release date is that around September we're likely going to be seeing NVIDIA release some of their graphics cards, which I'll talk about in just a second, and then AMD will also be releasing some of their graphics cards. Now what he was mentioning here when he said 33 and then 31 and then 32 is he's actually talking about, well, Navi 33, their lowest tier GPU that they're going to be bringing out right away, is going to go ahead and probably release sometime around September and then be followed up by the big boy Navi 31, which is going to be the MCM GPU with all that craziness in it. And it's going to be that super powerful graphics card that you guys are all waiting for. And then it'll be finally followed up by Navi 32, if this is to be correct. And honestly, that would sound roughly about right in my opinion, although I wouldn't be too surprised if like Navi 32 came first and Navi 33 came last. Uh, one of the two, but I'm not expecting Navi 31 to land in September. I'm probably expecting that maybe December at the earliest could be as late as January or or even later into 2023, which would be absolutely insane. But yeah, you might have to wait just a little bit longer for that insane 7900 XT or 7950 XT or whatever they end up calling it. Now, when it comes to Nvidia, I actually do believe he's correct in that they are going to be launching in September, but not all of their graphics cards. Now, I think they're going to start out with cards like the RTX 4080, potentially 4070, as well as the RTX 4090 or maybe even 4090 Ti. And there will be a slightly staggered release there. I think you will be able to get hands on the 4080 first, probably even even as early as September, then into October, you'll be talking about the 4070, and then late October or early December, we could be talking 
talking about the 4090 or 4090 ti and then the other cards like the 4060 ti and 4060 those cards probably aren't gonna be coming until like 2023 at some point so if you're someone who's looking for an rtx 3060 don't worry that thing isn't gonna be replaced for some time but if you are someone who's looking for a brand new graphics card yeah we're talking about roughly around september is exactly when i'm expecting some of these cards to start launching and then hopefully shortly thereafterwards you will actually be able to get your hands on them at msrp if things do continue down their current route but hey that's just what i think when do you think nvidia and amd will be releasing their next generation gpus let me know your guys thoughts in the comments below and of course i'll see you in the next video if you made it to the end of the video be sure to drop a like every time you do so amd and nvidia get more stock also if you want to see more click here you won't be disappointed